That's right, Allison. We have two systems out there. Our 11th name storm of the season has now been named as of 5 o'clock this afternoon. And guess what? Both of them will not be an issue for us. In fact, it will not be an issue for most people in the United States. That's the good news. So let's get started right now. Let's take you to the big picture. I'll show you, of course, Josephine's down there nearing the Leeward, Windward Islands now. You can see that. It's going to go just to the northeast of those islands. And then there's Kyle. Kyle off the mid-Atlantic coast. Yeah, it's Tropical Storm Kyle. We got at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Here's the track on Josephine. Not only does it recurve, but it weakens as well. And I say that because it's headed right towards Bermuda. But by that time, we're talking... 25, 30 mile per hour winds at the max. So good news even for them. And of course, this will be staying away from the mainland U.S. Now, 175 miles east of Ocean City, Maryland, where they just had the White Marlin Tournament, we now have subtro uh, tropical storm, I was going to say. It was kind of subtropical. They didn't know what they're going to do with it. But it's definitely warm enough. It's tropical storm Kyle. It's easier to say than Isaias, and it's heading out to sea. These are the ones that we like. This storm, however, did set another record. It's the earliest K storm on record, beating out Katrina in 2005.